we're going to be looking at a, th a thorny problem, it, this is just going to be a short video because what we're going to be looking at is relatively simple to sort out. But unlike most of what happens in AutoCAD, the logic behind it is unusual to say the least. What we're going to do is have a look at how to draw insulation and to do that we need to create an insulation layer using the batting line type. So if I open up my layer properties you can see I've already got an insulation layer here. It's set up in magenta colour, 0.2 line weight, but my line type is continuous. If I click on that line type, it brings up a range of options, and the one that I need is this one here called batting. If batting wasn't appearing in the list, I could always load a new line type by clicking on load and then choosing the line type that I want. Um, but in this case, what I want is line type batting. So if we just OK that, and that's changed the line type in the line type column here. I'll make that current by double clicking just here, and then close my dialog box. What I want to do is add the insulation into this bit of wall here. I've got my brickwork, which is highlighted by the double diagonal line, my block work, which is the crisscross pattern, and now I want to put some insulation with a wiggly line on the warm side of that cavity. The first thing I'm going to do is start with a polyline. My insulation layer is current and I'm just going to trace over this line here. The reason for doing that is behave there. Okay. Next I need to offset that line 25mm in towards the middle because it's 50mm of insulation and I need the line to actually appear in the middle. Click, click and get rid of the original one that I first drew. What I'm not sure is why that isn't appearing in the batting line type. So I'm going to click on that now and while I've still got my cursor hovering over it, do a right click and open up the properties which is a big dialog box that comes up in the corner of your model space just here. And if you have a look it's telling me it's in the continuous line type not batting and I can see that up here as well. Let's change it to line type by layer that's starting to look a bit more like it. If I zoom in, you can see that it's got that wiggly line all the way through, but it's not actually big enough. So what I need to do is enlarge it. Now, usually, to make it wider, you would actually change the line thickness just here, the line weight. With batting, what we need to do is change the line type scale. And to do that, I'm going to right-click again, reopen the properties, and look at what it says up here about line type scale. The line type scale at the moment is 1. It looks as though it's about half as wide as it needs to be, so let's try changing that to 2. That's nearly filling the cavity, but you can see I've still got a bit of a gap down the side. If I try 2.5, that's just slightly over large because it's overlapping the wall. So let's try 2.4, which I know from experience, having done this a lot of times recently, will work. So if we make our line type scale 2.4, the batting line is going to come out 50mm thick. But let's have a look see what that's going to do in our viewport. If I open up my A1 landscape layout, look at what the batting layer's done here. It looks enormous and quite, quite ridiculous, which is exactly not how I want it to look. That's at 1 to 50. If I were to take that to 1 to 10, it's still completely ridiculous. So we definitely need to do something about that. But if I were to change the line type scale here to be the right scale for the viewport, then it's going to be wrong for other scaled viewports. You can see, again, it's looking silly just here. The way to solve this is to change both the model space line type scale and the paper space line type scale to zero. You'll only need to do it once when you're in the drawing, so if we do it now, we go MSLT, and you can see how it's automatically coming up with MSLT scale. Enter to confirm that, and we'll make that zero. Now we'll do the same with paper space, P PS paper space, LT line type scale, zero, and nothing appears to have changed. However, I'm still in this viewport. You can see that um, I'm in my model space, in the viewport. If I regenerate that by typing RE for regen, 
and enter. Now my insulation looks the way it should do. I'll go into this larger scale viewport and do the same. And again, it's looking right in that viewport. So it's simply a case of setting model space line type scale and paper space line type scale both to zero. And then any time you create a new viewport, you should find that everything works as you want it to in your drawing. So the last thing I want to show you is a really nice quick way to change things if you need to. So if I, I'm going to change that back to by layer, which is what it should be, change that to by layer. Now if I do another polyline here and do the offset again, um, it's come out again in the small size. The very easiest way to resolve that, if I click on the bit that's right, and then I go up to this symbol here with the, the paintbrush and click on that. Click on the bit of insulation I want to be the same and it's automatically made it right. So the last thing I'm going to do is just pop a little bit of insulation in each of my cavity barriers. And that looks as though it wants to be line type scale of about two. I'll just grab the end of this one, bring it right through to there, do the same at this end. And there I am, sorted, with my insulation and my construction in that wall. You can see that it's looking right and everything's fine. Thanks for watching me and I hope you managed to find a success with batting. Goodbye and I'll see you again soon.